There's been an earthbound NES prototype discovered at a yard sale in Portland by uh, comedian Jacob Christopher. Um, brought, to, brought to you by our pal, the immortal John Hancock. One of the nicest guys ever. Super collector, John Hancock. Found at a yard sale. There's some provenance. The woman who owned uh, the house where they are, so that used to be a, a buyer for Nintendo. So we know it. it's it's legit. It's for real. Um, it looks like it was like in a, a Legend of Zelda gold cart. And John surmised that it looks like it was laser cut, the, the, the front of the shell for the prototype. Usually, you know, it's like it was done pro, uh, sloppily. Right. This looks like it was done a little bit more precise in terms of the cuts, like circular cuts uh, on the edge of it. Uh, just to, you know, we, we, you know, because I got to put the big board in it. It's in a five screw. Uh, looks like Zelda, Zelda two cart, cartridge. So there's been other Earthbound or Mother Zero, if you want to call it, NES uh, games discovered. Our pal Rue uh, owns one of the handful of prototypes out there. What's interesting though is that this is doesn't look like the other prototypes, at least the ones I've seen where it has, you know, a full cartridge and it has a sticker on it. This is still, even before that, it's just a cutout, slapped it in there. This could be like the earliest prototype. Right. I guess we don't know what the differences are yet. What's amazing, though, is that this shit's still being found. This is just a few weeks ago. This is found this at is a fucking insane. yard sale. That's insane to me. Absolutely insane. Um, and the fact that this this will go for, if not four figures, five figures. It's just, where is it going to end up? Earthbound collectors are nuts. They're insane. So this is true. <laughs> based, you know, talk to Rue again. So, um, the Northwest is, is just a hub for this stuff. This is where all the big Nintendo finds. Obviously, you know, Seattle is, is where Nintendo is based. Uh, but uh, I think uh, for the word early word is is that this will be up for sale at some point. I would sell it probably if I had. I'm not a huge uh, Earthbound guy. Uh, the fact that there are others that already exist, I'm not sure how that affects. Uh, sort of a market value for something like this because then if one comes up you might have two or three other people saying hey I want to put mine up mine up for sale too you know that that has happened with other games in the past uh, the, the biggest ones being Steam events when Steam events gets found you put up a complete box when three other copies show up you know uh, or if, if or if a Nintendo World Championship comes up for sale there's, there might be one or two others that sort of slide in slide into eBay slide into those DMs uh, you have any thoughts on this Ian or I'm just going to ramble about it nope I have no real thoughts on <clears throat> On prototypes. Uh, no, they don't, they don't. They don't interest you at all, unless there's something that's very different about it. It just. It would have to. I mean, I, I think it's very cool that it's found. What What's more interesting about it to me is, is is what you've stated. It's just the fact that here we are sitting here, and things like this are still being found now. Um, you know, and it goes back to uh, you know something that we've said a lot of times, just about collecting in general. Um, <clears throat> there's no guarantee that what you have is the the only one you have um so a one don't bank on things you know always being worth what they are but two it, it's also it's a very optimistic feeling to know that these sorts of things are still being found and and when i hear stories like this it it, it, it doesn't necessarily matter what it is it, it gives you that hope as a collector or someone looking for something that you can still find this shit out sure there. i would say yard sales slash garages are the best yeah, because you don't know it's going to be there, and even though there's less chance of you finding it, the fact that you finding something that's golden and still being there goes up because there's less people going to a flea market and like sellers will walk around at five a.m. Right. For example, like if this showed up, this showed up at a flea market, this would not have been put out before a seller uh, uh, that was there every week would have gotten it. You know, like th there's no way a, a guy who's a comedian who maybe likes retro games but isn't, isn't that's not his business would have been able to pick it up. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, according to Earthbound Central, there are, and this is back, when is this posted? Like 2010, 2009? Looks like there's at least five known prototypes before this one, including one, it looks like, that someone at Nintendo America said uh, one one probably exists inside of Nintendo America. Why wouldn't it? You think they would hold on to one? What's interesting, though, is that this game was ready to be released. You know, this was this was done. You know, uh, so the fact that it didn't come out, I think is still strange that Nintendo would just pull the plug on something like this. Uh, maybe they, maybe they didn't want it to to mix in with the hype for a Super Nintendo version, something like that. Yeah. Who the fuck knows? You know, localization issues. Uh, we're still waiting on what uh, Mother Three to, to be localized here. So, and, and they know that they they uh, Reggie makes makes jokes about that. You know, when he goes to conventions, sometimes like they know that. You know, people are, are hungering for this stuff, and yeah. it, won't, it won't cost them that much to put it on. A, you know, a virtual console. 
like when, like when Earthbound finally came out on, on a virtual console, and you finally saw the, the the Super Nintendo cartridge prices finally you know fall again. So good on you, good on you for finding this, that Jacob awesome. Christopher. And hopefully, you know, you get some good cash out of this. They did. They did go back and speak to the the, the, the person afterwards. They bought it from just to make sure. Hey, where are you from? I wonder. You know, if she's gonna look at me. Oh, did I just get swindled at something, or <laughs> maybe? But then again, you know, hey, it's a garage sale. <laughs> maybe she has enough money. Doesn't worry about it. You know. 